And so I didn't wait for teachers to say they wanted to work with data to start doing it. But what I found is that once they experienced the results, that the openness to do the work changed. That in fact, the whole idea of buy-in preceding change is, is a misconception. I believe strongly, and um, Paul Bambrick Santoyo makes, makes the same uh, contention in his book, Leverage Leadership, that buy-in follows results. It, it doesn't precede the work. And so I think that you know, it's a matter of, of taking a look at what the data says, making a plan, right? Because the conclusion that we would need to find, so when, when um, the woman over here was talking about, you know, we, we look at the data, we don't bring it to a conclusion or, or set forth an action plan, well, that's something that, that I would do. I would take a look at the data, see what it says, and say, all right, what are we going to do about that now? And if we're going to change our, we don't have to totally eliminate ability grouping, I'm not saying that, but if you do make a change in practice, what supports need to follow so that it works for all kids?